name is Robert Bedu. I'm a Ghanaian Danish, born and raised in Ghana. My background is Mampona Shanti. I'm an artist, a painter, and um, a mixed media artist. My original inspiration is from my childhood. You know, I was born in a in a royal in a palace of Mampon, where as a child I was introduced to all these African colors, African motifs, and African arts in general. You know, I mean traditional African art. So there, I got that kind of color color interpretation from that side. Then when I went to school, when I started school from year one, that's where I got into purely into drawing. I wasn't really interested in any subject apart from drawing. I wasn't all that good in anything, you know, so I wasn't interested apart from drawing. So there, I remember when I cast my mind, but I remember, I remember we were drawing, we were using the letter S to draw a bed or chicken or something like that. Then everybody was doing it the same way we were all doing, but then I brought in my own. I added some features like the beak and then the, the wing and all these things. So I was like, became like Eastern, I became a star in the class. Everybody was trying to copy my work. Then I went to my sister, who was a teacher, and um, she further encouraged me to do that because she could see that I wasn't interested in anything apart from drawing. So she bought me a lot of color pencils, papers. We moved, we moved to Kumasi when my dad came on pension. And we, we live very close to the Ghana National Cultural Center. So we used to go there to go there and play as kids, you know. Very, very they have all these kind of unique places. So you used to go there. One day something unusual stroke. When I saw this English lady with a cultural uh, attendant or the cultural expert going over some things, the, the guy, the, the old man, this old man was explaining um, some, some figures to the, to the, 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 the English woman. Then, being a child and being very inquisitive, I went there, you know, with my friends. We went there and tried to see what was going around. He was telling stories about the figures. He was talking about this um, African figures, you know, something called Akan gold weights, you know, some kind of figures, which when I look back now, which has been influenced, much influenced on my art figures, you know. So from there, I used to go back every week for about four or five times, every weekend, actually, it was a weekend, Saturdays when we were out of school. I used to go there, meet the same people, the lady and the guy, and the lady and the old man, to, I mean, um, listen much more about the, the, the whole, about the figures. And after some years back, I got to know that that, old, that lady was an English aristocrat who migrated to Ghana with a husband, who was a politician, one of the people who fought for Ghana independence. I mean, so she was a, a, a children's a book writer and also a philanthropist and a socialite back in Britain. He was from an upper class called, and the lady was called Peggy Appiah. And she was like a, a collector of these uh, figures, you know. So from there, I started to follow the figures. I became very, very interested in the figures, which were very common in at, at the cultural center, I mean the imitation ones were very common at the cultural center. So I used to try to collect them, you know, get one or two at that age, try to collect them. So that was, I mean, 
and something that when I cast my mind but I see where most of my figures comes from you know that Asante uh, I can't gold wait okay now I'm in secondary school um, everybody thought oh you are good in art and that you should continue and then that but later I went I went on to be trained as a teacher and then I even the funny thing I even went on to teach art in a secondary school you know which I wasn't really qualified but then uh, I was a teacher I went in I with my teaching background and then they tried me and they said okay yeah you can do it then I went on to teach in art from there fast forward some years I moved to Denmark that's where things started coming up you know there I realized what that I was uh, dyslexic and all this thing, which I didn't know in Africa. But then, my ex-wife, who was a dame, just advised, uh, went on like, well, well, if you say you're an artist, try, let me see your work, try to pay something like that, you know. I started getting very positive results in Denmark, you know, doing the exhibitions, and um, got invited to everything African, I did something with the African um, Institute of African Studies at the University of Copenhagen and then created our own uh, Aquaba yearly annual exhibitions and all these things, you know, very, very positive. If, after that, I moved to London where I've been having another positive results, you know. I'm doing exhibitions around and it's like um, I'm very overwhelmed by the results I'm getting and even when I well one funny thing on the social media which is going very good you know the Instagram for example is going very 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 good I've got some followers that I'm even surprised people that who inspired me and my work you know, from the beginning, like uh, a group called Arrested Development, for example, uh, they were like my idols and now they are following me. It was like, wow, what's going on, you know? Actually, even I started doing, when I started, you know, my, my work is based on everyday life, people, everyday life. So my first painting was called People Every Day, which was from their song, you know, and now the they are one of my followers, you know, so I'm really, 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 really overwhelmed. My work is mostly based on people, everyday life, everyday people, what is going on around us, you know, and you see that there are a lot of people, a lot of figures, which shows how uh, a lot of people in on earth or in the world and each and everyone is trying to get your attention each and everyone is posing you see them when you look them from far they look like they are together but when you get closer you see that they are individual people and each one is trying to get attention it's like the account proverb which goes like a bushia to separate which literally means that and a family or a group of people is like a forest when you look it from far they all come together it's like a forest looking from far but as you get closer you see that each tree have its own stand each tree is trying to tell you a story of its own you know so that is much of my work everyone when you see them they are all together and but when you get closer you see that everyone have a, their own peculiar style mood or action or something to tell you you know yeah this work i called the struggle continues you see the same thing i was talking about the same everyday life you know people trying to pose People are trying to help each other. People are trying to bring each other down. Everyone is scrambling for survival, you know? And I take it from 
the beginning from our ancestors when they were on their way coming it's been a struggle and it's still struggling we are all into the same soup from the beginning to now each one is trying to overdo the other each one is trying to survive you know it's a kind of survival kit yeah. and that this one i call it love you can see the love you can see the man and the woman they are uh, in a in dark darkness and the man is holding a light you know and the light um, is bright showing the way the woman is hiding behind the man it's like trying to uh, she has put all her hopes and aspiration in the man and the man is holding this kind of light of love you know so I call it love this is the funny funny work you know <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> think it's Trump well and it's coincidental to I call it the politician you know it's the person is trying to shout to canvas for something trying to bring people out yeah special thanks to India Dickinson of India Dickinson Gallery my creator and manager and then Miss B Wright and um, Laura Brown to know more about me and my work I'm having an exhibition in London this summer so you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. My Instagram is Robert underscore Bedu underscore artist. And Bedu is spelled Bravo Alpha Delta Uniform. And Facebook is Robert Bedu. See you later. Take care then. Mm -hmm.